You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. This is Michelle Fern, host of Best Bets for Pets on Pet Life Radio. Okay, this, everyone, so many people out there have either a Fitbit or another kind of thing on, you know, to gauge how their steps, their walking, how they're doing. But what about our fur kids? What do they have? Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this message. I have a cool new product to tell you about. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. designerpetsweaters.com Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com Welcome back, everyone. I have Stephanie, who is a spokesperson for Star Walk by IQ Pets. Welcome, Stephanie. Hi. So, this is really cool. I usually don't mention brands, but the only one I could think of at the time is Fitbit. But I know that there's a whole bunch of other brands for that people use. Like, isn't there one called Jaw or Job or something? There's, yeah, there's, there's definitely a ton of Fitbits out there. Yeah, there's, you know, versions of, you know, a little bracelet or something that you wear, watch or what have you. You know, I think the Apple Watch has it too, or apps that measure your fitness. But there's not too much out there for dogs that works and is, you know, very easy for the pet parent to gauge. And IQ Pets came up with Starwalk. So for everyone out there listening, tell us a little bit, what does Starwalk do? Okay, so Starwalk actually was created because of the whole Fitbit trend. It was just really obvious that humans started to realize they really needed to keep track of their steps and regulate how much exercise they were getting. And we really need to do that for our pets, too. It's important for dogs to get enough exercise, and it's not always as easy to monitor it. So that's kind of how Starwalk was created. It's an activity monitoring device for your dog, and you attach it to any collar. It measures things such as total steps, calories burned, the activity time, what type of activity was done, whether or not it was high endurance, and how far you traveled with your dog. I thought this was really cool. A long, long time ago, I think I had a product that was a little bit like this, but not quite. And because this product, what it does, you actually, along with the app, you can gauge what your animal's doing, what your fur kid's doing. And I am trying to find the screenshot that I did because I want to show you how, tell everybody out there how Mr. Z really sucks at moving his tail. (laughs) He, for his, now he's an older guy, he's 11, and it's, you know, you you have a little, you can put in a picture of your, you know, for a kid, and it tells you what the average is for your type of dog, you know, the size and the weight and height. So he was supposed to do, <laughs> other dogs did 11,169 steps. The average, I think, is he, or what he's supposed to do is 8,000. All right. He did 4,984 steps, so not too good. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, I think that as, <laughs> as long as he's getting some exercise, it's definitely better than none, but typically vets recommend that dogs just get at least 30 to 60 minutes a day of activity. But, of course, that all depends on the age of your dog, the breed of your dog, and just, like, where their endurance level is. So it's important to kind of consult with your vet and get their opinion, too, on how often they think your dog needs to exercise. 
Well, that's true. And Mr. Z was just really, really sick. So I'm very grateful he's feeling better. And he's back to his normal spunky self. He's spunky. Even for a senior dude, he's pretty spunky. But I just thought this was so cool because with the app that goes along with Starwalk, it's just like... You know, you see on yourself, you know, your watch or your app, you know, how many steps you've done. You see the same thing for your fur kid. You know, I actually, I held the app and I said, all right, Mr. Z, let's run around. So we're running around the studio. And then I noticed, looked down there and I thought, oh, yes, okay, the app, it moved. This is really cool. And then we ran around a little more and it moved again. So it's really, I think, a great way to motivate the pet parents to motivate their fur kid because, you know, it goes kind of hand in hand, you know, because sometimes there's only so much space that, and this day that we did it, Mr. Z did not have a long walk because the weather was very rainy. So we just had to move a lot around the studio. So he didn't do too bad, but You know, I think if dogs had it their way, they would just sleep around all day. But there are some that are high energy that just, you know, they get all excited and just have to run around. That's why you see puppies sometimes running around in a circle like crazy because they just have to expend their energy. Like like little kids, you know, they just have to let it out. Absolutely. And you know what I really like about the Starwalk, too, is that it has this light up feature that really reminds pet owners when they need to get their dog out. So there's six different lights on it, and they display goals, progress in, like, increments of 20%. So once your dog gets to their daily goal, the star walk is completely lit up, and you know that your dog has had enough exercise for the day. You don't have to worry about it. But if you see that a couple of those lights are missing, it's just really easy reminder, like, hey, why don't you get outside? Go take your dog on just a 20, 30-minute walk, and you'll be guaranteed that they have that exercise that they need. Yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. That's a great feature, too. And it's also very comfortable to wear. It's not that large. I think all but... Super lightweight. Yeah, it's very lightweight, and it's it's not large at all. And I think... I don't know if there's a different size. I mean, I don't... This is... I don't know about a teacup or one of those little tiny, tiny dogs, maybe a miniature. I don't know if this would be the best... Can you fit on a mini, not a teacup, but maybe a, like a mini, mini schnauzer, or mini schnauzer? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think it's the perfect size for like a mini schnauzer, but maybe the teacup chihuahuas, this might be a little bit big on their small necks, but it is very lightweight. So even if you did attach it to their collar, I don't think that they would necessarily feel it. It might more just be a little bit funny looking, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right. Well, Nikki, who's much smaller, he's Havanese, and he's like uh, maybe, I know Mr. Z's around 50 pounds on a good day, and that Nikki is about 17 or 18, so quite a difference in size, but neither one minded it on their neck. I didn't engage Nikki's on the app. I just put Mr. Z in, but he didn't have a problem with it at all either. So that was really nice. Where can people that are, you know, listening and saying, wow, this is so cool. I need to get one of these. Because remember, everyone that's listening, it's not just a cool device and and something fun. This is great for your pet's health. And the more your pet moves, just like for people, the more you move, the better health you have and longer life. I mean, check everything with your vet like Stephanie said, but this can make a difference in their longevity and their quality of life, too. Where can people find Starwalk? So you can find it online at iqpet.com, or you can go on to Petco online, and they also carry it. Okay, that's great. Stephanie, one thing I do get people asking me whenever I talk about an app is, well, I have this phone, I have that phone. So, you know, uh, there's basically their Android or iPhone. Does the app work on everything? Yes, yes. It does work on all iPhone and Android devices. It's super easy to download and it's free. So you go and purchase the Starwalk online and then you will find the, the app on your phone and you can just download it really quickly for free and then you sync up the devices together. And for everybody listening, I'm pretty good with techie stuff. So, but I did have a friend that's not very good with techie stuff download and put this on her phone and she had no problem at all. So it's very, like you, Stephanie said, super easy to, to yeah, use. Yeah, it really walks you through it. Yeah. So it makes 
makes it pretty easy for the user. Yeah, I can't think of anyone that is not all about easy. Easy is good. <laughs> it's always good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now can people also go to IQPet website to maybe find out a little bit more about the product? Absolutely. There's tons of information on there. If you have trouble linking your device to your phone, they have um, videos that you can watch that can take you step-by-step through it. But like I said, the app is really, really great, and it does have like a step-by-step tutorial for you. It should be pretty easy to link it. And the website just tells you a lot more about how much your dog should be walking and just gives you some more, some more ideas of exactly what Starwalk can track for you. Okay, perfect. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much for coming on Best Bets for Pets and telling us all about Starwalk. Thank you so much for having me. And for everyone that's listening out there, you can go to the IQ Pet webpage and find out more, as well as purchase Starwalk online on the website or at Petco, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, perfect. And it's $49.99. Oh, that's a very good price. It's a great price. For a Fitbit for your dog, I, I think this is a, a really great price. Absolutely. What a great show. Now, this Starwalk is such a cool, you know, one of those techie gadgets, but it's so cool. And I love the app. And I love that it's um, it's very a great way to interact with your fur kid. And I'd like to thank Mr. Z for being the main tester of Starwalk. And I'd like to thank Nikki for trying it on. He was very good about that. The dentist did not participate. He just stood by and looked, and so we thank him for that. And I'd like to thank my producer, Mark Winter, for making me and my guests sound great. He does a great job of editing all our shows. And thanks to IQ Pet for sending the Star Rock for us to try out. And to all the listeners, thanks for listening. We have another great show coming up. Don't go anywhere. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back, right after we kibble a little with our sponsors. Everything we tried failed except the Dynavite. The standard run-of-the-mill tests and treatments. Cortisol. Antihistamine. Multiple creams. Antibiotics. Spray. Multiple prescriptions. Steroid injections. Spray. Sharp antibiotics. Steroid cream. No results. It was neglect. The other owners didn't care enough about him to take care of him and to give him the nutrition he needed. A nutritional supplement like Dynavite. To be the healthy, happy dog he is today. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. If you want the dog to be healthy, you got to feed it something healthy. Put some nutrition in your dog. The vet that I trust recommended Dynavite. The dog I have today, because of Dynavite, has a sparkle in his eye, a lush coat, healthy skin. When you rescue a dog... You've got to feed them right for life. Dynavite will make your dog a happy dog. Dynavite is nutrition. Dynavite for life. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E oh. dot com. Hi, I'm Dana Humphrey, the founder of Whitegate PR. We have been specializing in PR and marketing in the pet industry for over 10 years. If you have a pet product or service you would like to promote, give us a call. We can help create awareness for your brand on TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, and blogs. Feel free to reach me directly at 619-414-9307 or learn more on our website at whitegatepr.com or follow us on Facebook. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Dot com. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, this is all about what to do with those hyperactive dogs that you need something special for. I'd like to introduce Tim Burton. He is EVP of Hyper Pets. Welcome, Tim. Thank you very much. It's uh, great to be on the show. So, hyper pets, people are hearing that and probably going, yeah, I have one of those, I have one of those. What is hyper pets? Um, so, hyper pets, a uh, company, we've, we've been around in the pet industry for over 30 years and we make collars and leashes, but probably best known for our interactive toys. And the one toy everybody's heard about probably is the hyper pet canine cannon. So, that's probably the toy most people have seen and uh, the one that gets everybody excited when we're in stores, trade shows. And you see people playing out with uh, in their yard or, you know, the dog park. Probably the product everyone will recognize. 
Now, for everybody listening out there, the Canine Canyon is so cool. It's almost, think of it as kind of, I'm not into guns, but it's kind of like a water gun for your dogs, except it uses tennis balls. And it is so great for exercise for your dog. They Absolutely. love it. it. It's great for exercise for your dog. It's it's great for, for exercise for you. It's great for the whole family to play with the dog. So, you know, it's one thing to throw a tennis ball and play fetch, but I think it adds something to it when you can... Uh, as you say, use the canine cannon, which is, it, it looks a little bit like a water cannon. You can fire tennis balls. It, it's hands-free pickup. So when your pet brings the ball back and drops it at your feet, you can put the cannon down and pick it up without, uh, you know, getting the slobbery tennis ball. And then, you know, you can fire high trajectory, low trajectory. It's great fun and doesn't take any effort on your arm, which is, uh, which is one of the big benefits as well. Now, what's the difference between the two sizes? Fire a different size tennis ball, obviously the gun itself is a different size. So the standard canine cannon, which was our you know original product, that size is a standard size tennis ball. So it's great for medium, large size dogs. But it was you know, a lot of people don't think that small dogs will fetch. Little dogs want to fetch too, but often, you know, what we throw for them to fetch is quite big for their mouth. So the, the mini cannon was designed to fire a mini tennis ball, a smaller size tennis ball, which is just great for small dogs. It doesn't go as far. We made the cannon a bit smaller because obviously, you know, small dogs don't need to run as far. They've got smaller legs. So, so it's a, and it's more compact for you to use as well. And that's so true with what you're saying because Nikki, who's like a little Havanese, he likes playing fetch. But the big dude, Mr. Z, who's a 50 pound mutt, he's not into it. You know, so it's great that you have a little size canine cannon. Now, you also have some other cool products. There is a duck slingshot toy. Yeah, we have our flying duck. That yeah, is we have cool. Our flying duck. Yeah, it's a, it's a great product. Again, people love love it. It's it's sort of a, a slingshot type product where you can you can hold the head of the duck and fire it. It looks like a duck. It's made of a ballistic material, so it's pretty tough. And so it's long lasting and durable. You know, dogs love it. It really sort of plays to the, I guess the the fetch retrieve idea of you know of retrieve as that type of dog, but. You know, it doesn't go as far as the cannon. It's a different sort of game because you're actually going and fetching what effectively is, is like a, a, a plush duck, if you like. Another great product that we got to sample were the Dura Squeaks. And we all know dogs love squeaky toys, but not all of them are really good with... So can we, shall we say, hyper pets with pets that are a little bit neurotic and need all the, have all that energy and want to tear everything apart? Yeah, the Jura Squeaks, you know, we, we designed them to, to be durable and long-lasting. So we've tried to do that with all of our toys. We've also EVA toys, which, you know, really long-lasting. You know, obviously, when, when you squeak, put a squeak in a toy, the natural instinct of your, the pet is to is to try to get to the squeak. It sees that as the life of the toy, if you like, to destroy it. So we've tried to make sure that the Jura Squeak is as durable as it can be for a squeak toy. It's great for attracting the dog's attention, great for playing with, with your dog's or to leave for your dogs to play with on their own if they, um, you know, if, when you've got to go out and you, you want to make sure the dog's got something to occupy itself and you know it's not going to be um, torn apart within a few minutes. Yes, very good. Now, would you say, are your toys mostly for a certain age pet, size pet? I mean, do you even, you have toys for from Teacup to Great Dane. What do most of the hyper pet products satisfy the need for what size pet or all what size of dog yeah actually so we've we've two brands now at hyper pet so the traditional hyper pet brand that's been around for um, for quite a few years probably catered more for the the medium-sized dog for the most part that's really where i think you know a lot of the products were designed that it's very typical in the industry Kate, the mini cannon's obviously a good example of one where we designed it for a small dog We've actually just launched a new range called Pet Logics, which is being sold through pet specialty stores. And actually, with that range, we've targeted at small dogs, medium dogs, and large dogs. So all of the products in that range will come in at least two sizes, if not three sizes. And actually, one part of that range, which is our little barks range, is is um, is actually was designed to give lots of different toy experiences, lots of different feels, squeaks, shapes textures um, for puppies but also it's great for small dogs so I think with the pet logic line we've we've really tried to address small dogs as well as the the medium large dogs that I would say most historically most toy manufacturers have, have been catering for 
You know, in listening to you talk, I mean, this might be like, I don't know, this question just popped in my head. Why do, you know, and you're a toy manufacturer, and of course, you know, there's many reasons why dogs need toys. But what would you say is, you know, the most important as far as why dogs just, they just, I think they need it, like it's necessary for them. You know, I think, I actually think there's three main reasons why, you know, why owners should buy toys and why pets need toys. And I think, if I put the three, I think the first one is just the absolute pleasure in owning a pet and, and the pleasure for the pet as well is being part of the family and interacting with the owners, you know, and their pet parents. And I think you can always interact with your dog, but interactions are always so much fun and the toys to play with. You know, the same reason why as humans, when we, you know, when we interact, we often play games, you know, whether they're games in the house or sports or something. And, and we've developed as a human race all sorts of toys and games to help us interact together and to, you know, and to build our feeling of, of family and community. And I think it's exactly the same with, you know, with the family and with their pet. So I think, you know, that's probably the main objective of toys, and it's honestly why it's such a fun part of the industry to be in. But I think with two other places where toys play a real role for pets and where people's pets really need them, I think the ability to exercise with your pet and to make sure your pet, your pet and yourself actually get enough exercise. We know one of the biggest issues in terms of, of dogs is obesity, and obviously having outdoor play toys and things like the canine can and all the new product, the Zynga we've got, which encourage your dog to run and to fetch is obviously great for for addressing the obesity problems that many pets have. And then I think the other you know the other main concern people have with pets is we're all busy people now and you can't always take a pet with you. So the times when pets are alone um, in the house and and you know some some dogs suffer from separation anxiety. I think some pet parents suffer from separation anxiety as well. So having durable toys that can occupy the pet and they can play with when they're on their own because you know the pet owner either is in the house is doing something else or or is out and knowing that that's a durable and fun toy that will keep them occupied and that they won't you know tear it apart within five minutes if you're going out the door i think it's um i think that's really important to you know both for the pet in terms of it being occupied but also for the peace of mind of the pet parent yeah and i thought of a fourth reason so your dogs don't eat your shoes <laughs> but you know you know I think, that's, I think that's exactly i think you're absolutely right and all, all your you know all the window sill or yes the, the window i've had the window sill really- done before <laughs> yep a baseboard <laughs> chairs uh yeah and, and that, that i don't think is tied to that last reason you know if if pets, on, if pets are on their own and they, they want to have fun and occupy themselves and, and you don't give them something suitable as a, as a pet owner to occupy them, then that's always, that's always the risk. So I think it's absolutely tied to that. I think, you know, if, you can, if you've got great toys that you can leave with your pet, that you know are safe, that you know are fun and that are durable so that while you, you know, you're not there to supervise the pet, you know that they're, they're busy with something that it's okay if they finally eat their way through eventually. That's so much better than, as you say, tearing your shoes apart. Exactly. Okay, Tim, you've told us about the hyper pets, how great they are. Everyone listening is probably thinking, I need that. I'd much rather get a hyper pet toy than have my new shoes that cost $300 destroyed. So where can people find hyper pet um, products? So as I said, we have a couple of different, we have two different brands. So the Hyper Pet brand, you can find in most of the mass and grocery stores. You can find them in Walmart. You can find them in Bed Bath & Beyond, Menards, Myers, Kroger, you name the, you know, most of the, the mass stores. And you can always find them online, So it's, which is sometimes a lot easier. I know I do a lot of shopping online, so you'll find all of our products online. The new Pet Logics line is really dedicated to the pet specialty stores. We've just launched that, so it's just arriving in stores now. So in a few weeks, if you start looking in your independent pet stores, you'll start to see the Pet Logics products. And if you don't see them there, then uh, ask the store because we want them to stock it for you. Absolutely. And so they should be in stores by holiday 2016. What a great gift for your pet for the holidays. It's a gift for your pet, but you know what the great thing about buying toys, I think, is it's not only a gift for the pet, it's a gift for you as well. So exactly. it brings fun to both of you. Exactly. Wow, what exciting products. 
that Hyper Pet has and then their new line as well, Pet Logics. You can find more information about this show if you go to Pet Life Radio, Best Bets for Pets, and look on this show's episode page. There'll be a link to the site so you can have more information. I'd like to thank Nikki, Mr. Z, and the dentist. Yep, even the dentist checked out Hyper Pet Toys. They had a blast. We all burned calories, had a lot of fun. So thanks, crew, for playing. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my producer, Mark Winter, for making me and my guests sound good. And especially thanks to all of you pet lovers, pet parents, wannabe pet parents, just like pets. Or maybe you just like to listen to me and my guests, you know, have a chat. But thank you so much for listening. Any uh, tips or comments or further show ideas, please email me at michelle at petliferadio.com. Keep listening. A lot of great products for your woof and wag fur babies. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com.